Hello, today I'm going to be unboxing and giving you a first look at a motherboard that takes me back to my childhood. This is the B650M Phantom Gaming Sonic Wi-Fi from ASRock, and I'm really excited to be checking this out today. So let's go ahead and get it unboxed and take a closer look at it. So this is everything that comes in the box with the motherboard. So we've got our user manual, we've got two Velcro cable straps, we've got our antenna for our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, we've got two SATA cables, one's got a right angle connector on it and one's got a straight connector, we've got an ASRock badge, and then we've got three M.2 SSD screws and two M.2 SSD standoffs. So I absolutely love what ASRock have done with this motherboard in terms of the Sonic the Hedgehog branding, and there's actually very little of the motherboard that they haven't customised. So we've got the Sonic logo and a large holographic ring sticker over the I.O. shield, and whenever you look at the ring sticker from different angles, it appears like it's rotating. We've also got branding over all the heat sinks, the CPU socket cover, and even the back of the motherboard. So taking a closer look at the motherboard, working along the bottom from left to right, first of all we've got our HD audio header, We've then got a clear CMOS jumper, followed by two RGB connectors. We've got a 3-pin 5-volt ARGB connector, and also a 4-pin 12-volt RGB connector. We've then got two system fan headers, followed by two USB 2.0 headers. Next to that, we've got a TPM header, followed by a chassis intrusion and speaker header. And finally, at the bottom right-hand side of the motherboard, we've got our system panel header, where you're going to plug in your front panel connectors. Working up the right hand side of the motherboard, first of all we've got four SATA connectors, and then we've got our third and final system fan header. We've then got our USB 3.2 Gen 2 front panel type C connector, followed by our USB 3.2 Gen 1 header. We've then got our 24 pin power connector, and then we've got another two 3 pin 5 volt ARGB connectors, giving us a total of three of these connectors on the motherboard. Just in front of these, we've got our post status checker LEDs, which are going to be useful in helping you troubleshoot any problems with your PC. Working along the top of the motherboard, we've got our CPU fan and pump header, and then at the top left of the motherboard, we've got two 8 pin EPS power connectors. The motherboard features a 12 plus 1 plus 1 power phase design, and we've got beefy aluminium heat sinks over the VRM. In the middle of the motherboard we've got our LGA1700 socket and standard mounting holes, and the motherboard is compatible out of the box with Intel's 12th and 13th gen processors. We've got four RAM slots, and the motherboard supports dual channel memory up to a maximum capacity of 128GB, and up to speeds of 7200 megatransfers per second overclocked. Again we've got Sonic branding on the heatsink over the B760 chipset. The motherboard has one by 16 size PCIe slot, and this is a Gen 5 slot that will run in by 16 mode, and the PCIe lanes come directly from the CPU. We've also got a smaller PCIe Gen 4 by 1 slot, with the PCIe lane coming from the chipset. The motherboard features three M.2 SSD slots, they've all got heatsinks on them, so I'll go ahead and remove the heatsinks to give you a closer look. All three of the slots are Gen 4 by 4 slots, with the PCIe lanes for the top slot coming from the CPU, and the lanes from the bottom slots coming from the chipset. You'll notice the motherboard comes with an M.2 Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth module pre-installed. Take a look at our rear I.O. It's good to see the motherboard comes with ASRock's flexible integrated I.O. shield. Take a look at our rear I.O. First of all, we've got our DisplayPort 1.4 and HDMI port 2.1, as well as the two antenna ports for our Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth. Below this we've got our PS2 combined keyboard and mouse port, as well as two USB 2.0 Type-A ports. We've then got four USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, and between these ports we've got two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, one of these is Type-A and one of these is Type-C. We've then got a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, and at the bottom we've got our standard audio connectors. On the back of the motherboard we've got an embedded display port which can support resolutions of up to Full HD at 60Hz. So I absolutely love the look of this motherboard, and I think in terms of features, it offers pretty much everything that you're going to want for the average gaming PC. Really looking forward to getting a build done on the channel with it very soon, and I've got a case working its way towards me for that build, so you shouldn't have to wait too long for it. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, and if you are currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.